All right, and that moves us on to our co-main event. Uh, you know, a dude that we're recently familiar with in Abdul Al Hassan. Uh, you know, we did take him. Not in a good way. Not in a good, good way. Oh, he was a heavy, heavy favorite and came out swinging. Man, we thought this could be over, but he used up all his energy real early. wasn't able to last, and in the mm -hmm. end, did not come out on top. So he's fighting Chaos Williams, who we actually touched on a little bit earlier with that crazy knockout. Mm -hmm. This guy, again, another dude who comes in sizzling. I think he's won seven in a row as well. You know, he's definitely looking to make a name for himself in this co-main event. Yeah, so it's one of those things, like, let's just touch on why we, we have that bitter taste in our mouth with Alassan. And I mean, as a, as a MMA lover... It's just the prototypical aspect of trying to tie yourself out. You know, it was beautiful to see him try to get the finish, but at the same time, like, be smart. You know, the guy looked really good. And big shout out to uh, Munir Laziz, right? Like, he knew exactly what to do in that situation. He had his he had his guard up. He was against the fence. Used some head movement. Uh, got his got his you know used his footwork to get, to get himself out of danger regularly. And as long as he got himself out of that first round, the rest was his. You know, that's the mm -hmm. problem with Alassane. I just think these top heavy fighters have something to work on. Funny fact, you remember our boy Alexander Hernandez? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so they actually trained together, and I believe that that was something that Alex Hernandez had to work on, which is what I mentioned when we talked As about well. him. Yeah, absolutely. And we and we saw the fruits of that labor recently. Mm -hmm. And so Fortis MMA seems to be doing something really, really good right now with their fighters, and I think... Al Hassan has something to gain here. And I think on paper, he still could have that edge with, with what he's had to, I guess, learn from that fight. But I mean, you said it best, right? That Morono fight is, is no joke. The guy's riding a win streak. So close enough where I see Williams being a plus 120, plus 180. Uh, and Al Hassan, he could hit the minus 300 range, but I see him falling maybe into a minus 180, minus 190. And I'll let you take over from there. He's actually just a uh, slightly higher, around 225. Your upper end echelon for Mr. Chaos Williams is right on on par there. You said about minus 170 or plus 170, 180. He's about plus 200. Um, so just on that upper end of the echelon there. And what are your thoughts when you when you kind of think about what we've seen from Al Hassan and and you know Williams being a guy who who might be able to take a bit of a beating in the beginning and use his wrestling and, and grind this out. To be honest, I mean, based on the camps that they come out of and what we saw in Al Hassan the first time, you know, he does have that power. I think he's going to kind of conserve it a little bit to try and pick and choose when he should be throwing his shots as opposed to just swinging wildly and using all of his energy. I do see him kind of being a little more tactical this time. Conserve that energy. Know you're going up against another beast of a fighter, you know, who has that endurance in him. And I'm hoping that he's able to kind of adjust his game a little bit to make it to that third round. All right. So, I mean, there you have it. But if I had to actually pick, I would go in the opposite direction because I actually think we might be looking at a guy who can pull off something similar from a game plan perspective. I, I've watched some tape. He looks like he put guys against the fence. He can definitely uh, grind some guys out. Maybe cardio comes into play, but I don't see Alisson getting that much better that quickly. Like There's going to be mm -hmm. uh, some of that strain on him. And so I, I agree with where the mind's at, but the body might tell a different story when time comes. And so I I, I, I do believe that we, we can see a, a nice upset here. And so we're going to look into that one. Yeah, absolutely. And that Alisson fight, you know, that wasn't too long ago. So like you said, right, there, there's not a, it's not the time Hernandez had after Cowboy Cerrone to kind of get those tools in his arsenal, right? This is a much quicker turnaround. So, you know, maybe that isn't in his game yet. So stay tuned for that one. But, you know, there might be some value on the dog there. Subscribe, hit that bell button below. Please we do We really that. appreciate it. Love that. Our Instagram is there. Chickety, chickety, Our picks will all be up on there. Twitter's up there. Our picks will be on there as well. And yeah, always a pleasure, Siraj. My guy, take it easy. Peace.